In this lecture, I will tell you how to handle backend errors. Here in fact this product controller, multiple times we are checking for this condition. If there is no product, then simply give this success as false and throw this message. Same thing we have done for delete product and same thing we are repeating for accessing single product. As of now, we have repeated the code thrice, but maybe in future, when we are doing multiple requests, each and every time we will repeat this code. We do not want to do this. Instead, we will create custom class and using middleware, we are going to handle errors. First, inside this backend folder, I will create one folder. I will give the folder name as utils. Inside this, I will create the file handle error.js. I will close this product route. Here, we will be creating ES6 class. I will give the class name as handle error. And this class will be extending from JavaScript error class. Inside this, we will be passing this constructor method. Inside which, we will pass two arguments. First will be the message, whatever message we are showing here, that message we are going to pass. And second, we will be passing status code. I will write here status code. And inside this, I will be calling this super method. And to understand this complete syntax, you should be aware of JavaScript OOP. And inside this, I will be passing message. So here, this handle error is nothing but it is the custom class which is extending our JavaScript error class. And extending simply means this handle error class can inherit all the properties and methods which are available inside this error class. And this constructor is nothing but it is a special method and this will be called when the new instance of class will be created. And this message and status code will be passed as the parameters whenever we are creating instance of handle error class. Instance is nothing but whenever we are creating object for this, then this message and status will be passed as argument for that class. Will be passed as parameter for that instance. And then we are having this super which is going to call the constructor of parent class. And here parent is nothing but error class. And what it will do, it is just going to set the message property which is available inside this error class. And this status code we are passing for this function. So below this, here we will be writing this dot status code. And for this, we will assign the value status code. Okay, this message is already available. So using this super, we are just going to call our constructor function and then we will set this message property. But this status code we want inside the class. So in this way, we will be writing the syntax. We have already passed the status code here. You can see 500, 200, 201. All the status code we have passed. Accordingly, that number will be passed to this status code. I will come down here. I will be writing error. Inside this error class, we are having access to this capture track stays method. And this method is nothing but it is V8 specific feature which is available in our JavaScript engine. And using this method, we can easily capture all the stack trace of an error. Inside this, we will be passing two arguments. First, we will pass object reference. For that, simply we are going to give this. Whichever instance is created using this handle error class, it is just going to refer to that instance. And then second, I will be passing this dot constructor. Let me copy constructor and here I will be pasting constructor. Okay, in this way, you have to capture the stack trace. First, we will pass this argument 
and then we will simply pass this dot constructor and this class we have to use in other files so here we are going to export this class i will write export default and i will give the class name as handle error we have created our custom class handle error now what we will do using middleware we are just going to include that errors so inside this backend folder i will be creating one folder i will give the name as middleware inside this i will create the file error.js inside this first i'm just going to import handle error as soon as i hit enter from this file it will be imported and here i have to write .js then below this i'm just going to create the function directly i'm just going to do export default and when we are doing export default specifically we don't have to mention function name directly inside this i will be passing all the parameters i will pass error request response and next and here for handling this error we are passing next inside our middleware if you are already aware of middleware between client and server we are going to have middleware in which we will have access to request response and next once we call next only then we will be moving to next middleware now inside this i will access this error and on this i'm just going to give my status code for this i will assign this complete value copy paste if i am not aware of the error then simply i will be throwing 500 then below this i will be writing error dot message because inside product controller each and every time we are passing status code and message okay same thing using this i will give the status code if i am not aware of any error then 500 code will be given for this copy this entire thing and inside this i will be pasting and for this 500 i will give the message as internal server error because i am not aware of this error so simply i will tell there is issue with the server then what we have to do after getting this status code and message in this way we have to send the response so here below this i will write response dot status now inside this directly we are going to pass this error dot status code copy and paste then what we have to do i will come here after passing status code we have to give this json method json inside this we are going to pass object and here inside this what we are doing success is false and then we are setting up the message so here i will be writing success as false and then below this i will be writing message property and for this i am just going to assign this error dot message whatever message i will be getting i am just going to assign that message now once entire thing is done okay very important you pass this next I will open app.js. Inside this, I have to use middleware. Below this, I will be writing app.use. And inside this, I will give the middleware name as I will give the middleware name as error handle middleware. Copy this and above this, I'm just going to import import error handle middleware from I will come inside this middleware and inside that we are having error.js. Now, here directly inside this error.js, we are just exporting this function. And this entire function we are going to handle using middleware. And here inside this, we do not have to import. I will just cut it from here. I will open product controller. And inside this, I'm just going to import my class. Now here, what I will do, inside this, this entire thing, we have already passed inside this error.js. 
Now we are using middleware. Inside this function, we will be passing third parameter that is next. Then this entire thing I am just going to remove. Instead, I will be writing next so that I can move to next middleware. Inside this, I am just going to throw the error. And how instance of the class can be created using this new keyword. And then I will be writing this handle error. Inside this, we have to pass message and status code. So my message will be product not found, copy. And here I will be pasting. And my status code will be 500. Okay, simple. Don't forget to pass this next. Here what we have done. First, we have created custom class. As soon as the instance is created, accordingly, we will be passing message and status code. But to handle this entire thing, we have created this middleware. And inside app.js, we have used app.use. And inside that, we are passing our middleware. So inside product controller, we will be passing next. If there is no product, Simply, we are going to use next from the middleware and accordingly, we are creating instance and passing message and status code. Now, instead of 500, let me write 404. I will come here. I will click on update product. Let me just give here 6, remove this, click on send. Now, you can see successfully, I am able to get the result. Same thing, I will come to delete product. Here, I will be passing next. In place of this entire thing, copy this return. And here, I am just going to paste. And here also, inside this, get single product. Remove this entire return. And here, I will be pasting this return. Come here, I will open this, get single product. I will click on send. Now you can see successfully I am able to access the product. If I change the ID, click on send. Okay, I am not getting result because I have not passed next. Here I will be writing next. Save it. Come here. Again click on send. Successfully I am able to get the result. So to handle error, first you have to create the custom class. And by using this middleware, we are just going to handle the error. But don't forget to pass this next. If you do not pass, you will not be able to get this result.